over here we have AMX 5100, 5100, IS3, IS3, T69, no change in the lineup, but we have at last seen power mimic this with an absolute mirror lineup. So this is the decider. If power still can't take this set, push with the superior team by and large, because this is an identical lineup, mirror matchup. Who will win in game five versus push in power? Tell me in the chat, will power get this last game or will they not? Will this be a 5-0 victory for push or will power uh, save their faces? Because right now they are still yet to take a game. Let's go for Eagle Eye Camera as we spin over into the western side of the map as we see the entire of Push's team formating over here trying to see what is going down. If we look at the map, we see great positioning here as the entire team come together, leaving 1T1 to stop any push going for their cap circle, allowing them to get back in time. We see that power are pushing forward and this is a very interesting location for the T1 right in the middle. It does kind of give away that might be um, some sort of push over in the east because this power guy, uh, Oakham, is over here in the center of the map just to be able to see this side of the map. However, his shooting is on target and almost takes down Brianito, but he gets away. So that was an unfortunate opportunity there from power, but a great escape from push. Zixi has been spotted, also finding the location over there of the push team. So Zixi now is able to see that there is nothing going on over this side at the moment. He's probably going to run into Carver. Carver's going to try and take him down on his own, but they don't know what is going on. So we have Push versus Power. Power are still to take a game and they are looking to do everything. Zixi goes down, as stated, with Tosiana taking the kill. The T69 is now pushing up with Angelo check. Bernato bringing up the rear and they're going to try and go for the base. Or are they not? Because we also know that the IS-3 from Stug is in their territory, which means there's a good chance that Power are going to be pushing down on this far side. Mmm, I smell dinner. I've just been uh, handed a plate of food and it's now filling my nostrils with smells of tomato and spices. Yummy. Anyway, without making you hungry, I'm hungry for tanks action as we see that power are nowhere to be seen in their base, which means that they might be doing an exchange, but Palace is spotted and an exchange is going down now between him and Totiana, but they both don't, well, Palace does not connect with Totiana and he does connect twice with Palace. Palace was the only defender left here. We'll find out soon enough as Just Cool is spotted on the banana corner in D8. Gonna be coming back now and we see that the rest of the team is coming back. I wouldn't be surprised now to see the rest of the push team coming into the defensive formation. Yes, we see that right now as they are set up ready to ambush anyone who comes back in a rush while Kava on his own is trying to cap, which forces power or at least one of power to come out into the open to be ambushed by the entire of their team. We see that there is a flanking maneuver going up from push, but they gotta be quick because if they're too slow and power comes in, the rest of the push team will die. However, looks like power are not taking advantage of this situation. They are sitting back and waiting to be surrounded by push. What are they doing? They are absolutely surrounded, out of position. They didn't bother coming back into their base. They didn't take advantage of the push being split up and now they are utterly surrounded. So we'll see that if push can actually close this deal now, but we see that just calls breaking formation and chasing Stig, but that's an absolute foolish mistake as he comes around the corner, takes the damage from the IS-3. Will Tribalto get the shot onto the rear? We're going to see the shot. Come on, Tribalto. He's too late. Just cool. Gets around the corner, though. Takes the shot into Stig. Stig gets the damage. Him going for the round of 44 HP. Will he get the round off before the autoloader hits him? He does get the round, but it's not enough. The autoloader will finish off Stigma if he has any shells left. But he doesn't. And Stigma reloads and takes him down. So, unfortunately, Just Cool did not have any shells or enough shells to take him down. And in the meantime, the rest of power has been taken out. Anglo check. Um, is able to be taken out, which is the first tank to go down, saving a little bit of face of power that they didn't go down with seven tanks still alive on the opponent's team. And Totiana comes in for a quick fight against Stug. And we'll see this battle now between the two. Stug is under fire by the T1 over there. How cute, but it doesn't finish him off. And Tosiana gets the final kill. Fantastic play there from Push. Unfortunately, Power's hesitation, I guess they were nervous still, were overwhelmed by their opponents and lost 5-0. If we have a look at the rankings here, we have 
the changes to this will be that power stays at the bottom with 10 losses, no victories and no draws. But push will go up to having three points and seven games. So at the moment, they come in in third place. But mine haven't played their second game, so they will have a game in hand. So we will see that... Um, Push will probably be very, very, very happy with such a result. So that was a fantastic game, guys. Um, I'll try and update the splashes for you very shortly so that um, it actually says the right thing. The next game coming up in an hour's time, if they come on schedule, but they did start that last one very early, and hopefully they don't do that again to me. Um, I will s ask them a question of why they did that or what is actually going on. So let's... Um, well, let's see what could have pushed done. Sorry, power done differently uh, to make that that any of them games into a victory. I'm I'm not sure really because, well, they they need to be more confident. Many times, the first two games they lost their confidence because every time they pushed forward, they died. However, they they did it unnecessarily. They pushed forward way, way, way before anyone was ready. They pushed forward the KV5 before any um, there we are before anyone else was ready in their team. They went forward without their uh, AMX 5100s to support them. They were absolutely destroyed. That was the two IS3s and the KV-5 destroyed before their AMX 5100s turned up. And that was disastrous. Game one went completely in Push's favor for that reason alone. They then did another push on the game two, but that went down as well, so that they didn't want to do that in game three, four, five. Fifth game, though, they could probably have taken if they just went forward. They saw the cat was taking place. They knew where the enemy were. They should have come round with all the tanks, destroyed them when the team was split into two. And that would have been an absolute disastrous, disastrous result for push. Uh, sending their two AMX 5100s round the back was disastrous if they were against a team that wasn't so cowardly. In, I say cowardly, but they were just so shaken up after losing the first few games. Anyway, uh, for, for those who've just joined watching the scene, over in Golden League, we run the rules of 742. What does that mean? Well, that means seven tanks, 42 tier points, limit of tier eight. Any tank is available, including tier eight artillery and gold tanks. You can use any tank in the game so long as you have it and it's below tier nine, so tier eight or below. Uh, we play all five games every single time. If you go 3-0, it doesn't matter. If you draw all five games, it can end 0-0. So the result can be anywhere between 0-0 and 5-0 for any of the team. But we often see 3-2 results and all that sort of jazz. Awesome. So we'll see the schedule today. We have Push versus Power, Unity versus Gra, and Gra TM versus Fast Loss later today. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with the next game. If I find out that the game is getting moved forward, I will let you know. Oh yeah, next game coming up very soon.